Hey yo, time flies. Just yesterday you were in kindergarten, but now you look at yourself you're like, damn, what's really happened? Like, time went so fast. We only have one life to live, so the little steps you take today can impact your life tomorrow, be it good or bad. Whatever steps you take today, whether they're good or bad, they can impact your life tomorrow. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the five things that you're gonna regret 10 years from now. Stay tuned. What is up everybody, this is your favorite YouTuber in the building, Crystal Lingo, aka The Goat. Man. Back again with another video. You guys all know that old saying that says, you reap what you sow. Guys, that is very true. Whatever decisions you make today, whatever choices, whatever decisions you make, you know, regarding your life, you shall surely reap the benefit tomorrow, whether it's good or bad. Tomorrow, you shall surely reap the benefit. So guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you five things that you are doing right now that you're going to regret doing them 10 years from now. Stay tuned. So yo guys, before we get into this video, let me take this opportunity and welcome you guys to my channel. Hey yo guys, if you just met me for the first time, hi, my name is Chris Olingo. This is my YouTube channel. You're welcome to subscribe if you like the video. Turn on the post notification if you like the video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It is your favorite YouTuber in the building, Chris Olingo. Let's get into the video. Yo, guys. So let's get on to these five things that you're doing right now that you're going to regret doing them 10 years from now. Or five things that you could be doing and you're not doing, you're going to regret 10 years from now. So the number one thing that you're going to regret 10 years from now is you allowing others to hold key to your happiness. You are the master of your own life. So if you allow other people to make you happy, without you making yourself happy, 10 years from now, you're gonna regret it. Like, you're gonna look back, like, 10 years from now, I'm like, damn, what was I doing? What was I, like, what, am, what was I doing, you know, thinking about this one person or this group of people that are gonna make me happy while I could just been, you know, happy by myself. Like, I could just, I could have just, uh, you know, choose to be happy. Because happiness is a choice, guys. You either, you, you either choose to be happy or you're not happy at all. I mean, if you're gonna be based your, like, if you're gonna say, I'm gonna wait for this one person to make me happy. What if the day that person decides not to make you happy on purpose for the rest of his life or I don't know, something happened between you and that person, that person is not talking to you anymore and then all of a sudden you become stressed, stressed, stressed or you become depressed, depressed, sad, sad, sad and you end up doing something that you're supposed to do, going, going suicidal. That happens when you start giving the key to your life to somebody else saying that this one person will make me happy you know this one person has a, the key to my happiness you know what i mean i'm not going against you know relationships i know you guys when you guys are in love you guys tend to be so you know head over heels that you forget the reality of things so 10 years from now you're gonna regret you know having to say that this group of people or this person or the or this job or this things that I do, you know, or this one person has and like, holds the key to my happiness in life. No, they don't. They do not. So let's move on to the second thing that you're going to regret not doing or doing 10 years from now. You're going to regret failing to try. You look, 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 you had this one, you had this one idea, right? You said, let me start a YouTube channel or maybe let me start a business or maybe, uh, let me try on sport, you know, or let me go out, you know, and train at least, you know, try to, to better my life, you know what I'm saying? Then you start thinking of how you're going to fail. You start thinking about what people will say, how this plan could not work, how this project that you have in your brain or in your mind could not come to life, how people will start judging you, you know, how you're going to fail and people will talk, you know what I mean? Then you, when you start thinking of all that stuff, instead of you trying to start your project or trying to start something, you end up just saying, uh, I give up, Look, I don't want to bring this plan to life because I'm scared of what's going to happen, what people are going to say if I fail. So 10 years from now, you're going to regret uh, failing to try something, failing to try that one thing that, you know, that's been, you know, that's been on your mind for a while now, you know, something that you want to bring to life, but then you are so scared or you don't want to try, like you don't want to bring it out. You're scared of what people are going to say, hey, should that plan actually fail? So 10 years from now, you're gonna regret failing to try this one thing. The third thing you're gonna regret 10 years from now is holding grudges. Look, guys, let's just talk for a moment. Guys, in life we go like, this is whole part of life, you having to meet some people that you guys don't like each other and then you guys, you know, get into some argument and then you hold grudges, blah, 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 blah. But then there are those people that hold grudges like for life. I mean, people like, <laughs> Yo, there are a lot of people that can actually hold grudges for like years and two years without talking or, you know, like 
or not even speaking to each other or not even seeing each other for like two three years they are those type of people something he did to you two years ago one year ago or six months ago and you out there still holding grudges you know you out there whenever you see this person your whole mood changes like you don't want to you know you don't want to laugh anymore like you don't want to talk anymore but that person out there is they out there living his best life enjoying whatever he has to do enjoying what you are there dying inside like holding something that doesn't really that's not gonna help you like it's not really helping it's just draining you it's just changing your you know, your moods every single time you see this person or 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 you hear of this person so you are holding grudges and 10 years from now you're gonna look back and say was it really worth it me holding this grudges like what is was it really worth it you know holding grudges for this person for what they did you know, so you regret actually having to go to all this time of you not want, wanting to smile whenever you see that dude around or that girl around. You know, you don't want to smile because that person is right there. So you're gonna regret not having to enjoy your life or live your best life with a person that you had a, you know, so-called fight or cat fight with. And then right now you don't want to talk to that person. You're holding grudges for one person. So you're going to regret 10 years from now. You're going to ask yourself, damn, was it really worth it? Like, was it really worth me, you know, staying two years without talking to this fool? Or whenever he walked in the room, I will change my mood. Was it really worth it? So let's move on to number four. 10 years from now, you are going to regret trying to be like everybody else. Guys, I've mentioned this in my a few of my past videos. Guys, we are all different, you know. We are all different. So if you're going to live your life right now trying to be like this one person or trying to be like this group of people that you know very well that you are not, you know, you're trying to, you know, fake an accent for acceptance somewhere. Like you're trying to, you know, uh, lie about something that you don't really, you know, you don't really possess just so you can fit in in this type of people. You can, you know, try to be like or try to identify with this type of people. Ten years from now, you're going to look back and say, damn, was, it, was that really worth it for me to, to lose my personal or my original identity just for for just just so this people can accept me like i said we are all different guys we are all different in thinking in mind in color in ideas in where we react to things you know what i mean like if you know for a fact that your mom and your dad did not raise you like this and then you find a group of people that are doing that thing and then you want to forget your roots or forget what your mom and your dad taught you and, you, and then you want to go to this group so that you can identify with whatever these people are saying, you'll be on a wrong path. So 10 years from now, you are going to regret having to lose your morals, lose your identity in order for you to fit to this one particular group, trying to be like other people. You know very well, you are not that person. You know, you're not that person, but then you pretend from now just to be, to fit in that group. So 10 years from now, you're going to come back to your senses and you're going to say, damn, was that really like, was it worth it? You know, trying to, to, to be like these people or, or that group of people. Well, I know very well, I'm not like them. Was it worth it me? Was it worth it me, you know, forgetting my morals just so I could fit in, you know, with these people? 10 years from now, you're going to regret having to do things that you're not supposed to do just because you want to fit in, in other, you know, group. Let's get on to number five, choosing to ignore the fact that you need to, you know, start saving. You know what I mean? As we grow, like guys, as I told you guys, time moves very fast. Like 10 years, five years from now, it moves very fast. Five years are actually moving faster. Now, the years are going faster. So if you right now, you say you're in your 20s, you know what I'm saying? And then you're not having to save right now. You're not saving whatever money you get, whatever uh, income that you get, you out there, you know, blowing it, you know, living it big. It's good, but then it's good to live big. But then if you do not have something that you can fall back to, like 10 years from now, will I still be living the same life that I'm living right now? Like you have to ask yourself this question all the time, all the time that you live it. You know, whenever you are there thinking you are living it big, you know, whatever income you get, you are there blowing it. You know what I mean? Think about this. 10 years from now, time flies very fast. And 10 years from now, you're going to look back and, you know, question yourself like, was it really worth it? You know, me having to, you know, blow out all this amount of cash instead of putting it in a saving or a fixed deposit for maybe five or 10 years on a fixed deposit, you know, after these years and get that money while I'm actually grown, you will regret not having to do that. So you have to be able to know that saving right now, while you're still young, while you're still alive and kicking could, you know, help you in the uh, future or in 10 years from now. So you're not, not doing that, you will regret after 10 years not having to, you know, get yourself involved in saving. So guys, we've reached the end of the video, guys. If you like this video again, go ahead and subscribe 
and turn on the post notification. If you're favorite YouTuber in the building, I'm still here doing what I gotta do. Thank you guys for almost, guys, we almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. I promise everybody that I'm gonna upload a get to know me tag only when I reach 1,000. And then that get to know me is gonna be basically my friends that I'm on Instagram and YouTube, uh, Instagram and uh, WhatsApp that are gonna like ask me, you know, questions. And I'm gonna take all those questions and I'm gonna choose like, uh, let's say 10, the best 10s that I'm gonna pick on a raffle. I'm not gonna choose, I'm gonna pick it and then choose from there which one I think is the best one so I can answer it live. So guys, check you guys again next week on my next video.